Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be resolving this error. So once you have this error, your FE foundations analysis is not going to be designed successfully. And this is basically due to wrong support reactions. So we will be resolving this completely. Let us get started. So we are going to be running an FE analysis first, but by then, let us navigate to the 3D as select in these provisions and I get to the 3D so you actually see the structure. Okay, so here is the structure. It is actually it's going to be designed using uh raft on the foundations. So we click on the FE foundations analysis. I click right there and then I have this FE elements foundation analysis dialog straight away. I look all of these at uh, default. I come to floor mesh and analysis. I click right here. So I start the FE foundation analysis of this uh, structure. So we see what result will be. Here we go. I click on the OK option. So the analytical model is actually preparing. And you can see the warnings and errors that is there. OK, see these warnings and error. All right. If you check over here, you can see FE foundation analysis almost designed. But once you click on the OK as a result of this warnings and error, you will have this provision check red crossed, meaning it is not designed. All right. So we will be resolving this issue. I click on the OK option just as I said. You can see here I've changed to red crossed, meaning it is not designed. So this is a problem one of my uh, subscriber was actually having. Okay, and then it sent me this structure. So we are going to be resolving together. At first, we look at the support reactions at the end of these columns at the first floor. All right, so now you see we are having a fixed floor. Now, when you are designing a product structure, you have to actually take note of how you apply your support reactions. Okay, anywhere you applied a fixed support reactions in product structure, product structure will actually see it as a foundation okay as a foundation level no you know that we have fixed support at the foundation level right here if you take the fixed support to the first floor uh protest structure will be seen it as a foundation level actually because at this point you know fixed support consists of uh you know three uh reactions okay you have the moment right there you have the horizontal and you have the vertical all right so at this point we are not supposed to have such because we will not have the horizontal uh, uh, reactions at this point okay we only have the vertical reaction which is the beam all right so we are going to be getting rid of all of this uh fixed support at the first floor and another thing that actually caused that uh, errors and warning is if you check this particular column it is resting directly on the reinforced concrete slab which is very wrong if you want to rest your column on a reinforced concrete slab you should have a concealed beam that actually supported that column and not directly on the reinforced concrete slab okay so based on this if you have any question you can actually drop it in the comment section successfully so as we proceed to resolve this we are going to get rid of these columns that has a fixed support at the bottom end all right so i will select these columns just like this and then i have to delete them up just like this i click on the ok options to get rid of these columns when we have to navigate to that level, which is level two. I'll double click on level two, sorry, uh, level one right there. Okay, so after which we can proceed to get rid of this column successfully, just like this. And this is going to nullify the analysis. Click on yes options. Okay, so that column is gone. I will select this other one successfully. This one I hold the control key to select multiple of this. Okay, I click on the delete options and then I delete them up successfully. So just like this, all of this column we are going to be deleting them right away. So we hold the control key on the keyboard and then be able to select uh multiple of it. Alright, just like this. I select this one and then I select this successfully, and then this one, this selected, and then I will select this as well. I'll be this this way you we'll see this one selected click on the delete options and then the yes options to get rid of this column successfully all right so for me to avoid these issues right here i'll get rid of this reinforced concrete slab right here 
and then I'll select this one, right click, and then use this property to place another beam right over to this provision. So I'll pick from this point and then I take it to this point to have a beam. Okay, a cantilever beam right there. So the cantilever beam will be created here. So I will make progress and connect this point and this point with a beam so that column can rest on this beam successfully. And also you can use the diagonal beam from these columns to this point successfully if you want to use that method. Okay, but I just wanted us to resolve this uh, issue. All right, then I want to start to place the columns. So I will move this grid lines now to the story two, which is the uh, second level right there. So I will double click right here to add my grid lines at story two, just like this. So I will select this column, right click on this column, click on it properties. So I will be using the properties to apply it to every other columns I've deleted successfully. So I'll pick this point to have that placed successfully and I picked here. So you can now see we wouldn't have any support reactions at the end of the columns right away. And this column is now resting on a beam and not on the slab successfully. All right, so I proceed to place this and then I place this as well in that provisions. All right, just like this, you can see what i am doing right here to get right of that uh issue okay i'll have a column right here as well i'll also have a column here all right so if you check this very well you will notice that uh, we are supposed to oh okay we supported this beam and the length is quite much but that is not the issues let's continue to place these columns to support this cantilever beams uh successfully all right and then we see to analysis again and then we carry out the design to make sure that it passes uh our fa flow analysis successfully all right so having gotten this successfully i can now get rid of this or uh, can't escape and then close this dialog all right then i will navigate to the story one right here and then i get to the floor of story one successfully just like this you see uh, the owner of the project have already carried out design successfully you can see the reinforcement generated right there all right but it found it difficult to design the foundations all right so we proceed i want to be having a slab in this provision so i can decide to use this uh, properties and click right there so i can place a slab within these regions Okay, so I will come here and change the region to grid lines. Okay, not really grid lines. I will use pick point option so I can pick this point. I pick this point all the way. I pick this point. Okay, so you can see there is an overlap. Okay, so since there is an overlap, simply means you have to get rid of all of these slabs successfully. So delete that one as well. You can get rid of this. Okay. So just hold the control key and get rid of all of these uh, reinforced concrete slabs. All right, select this one, select this one, select this one, and this one. All right, so after which just delete them up. Yes, options, okay, just like this. You can click on this beam so that you can have an end beam along the, uh, along the, I can deliver beam successfully. So connect this to this point, just like this. Click on yes to split the beams successfully just like this the beam has been split it all right after which right click to get rid of this command you can do the same thing in the site okay but this is going to overlap so at first you have to actually uh, get rid of uh, this uh, uh slab right here i will delete it up i get rid of that also do this one just like this okay we can use any of this property of this slab sorry it's the beam we use this property of this beam right click and then click on the properties and then we pick from this point and then take it all the way to this point just like this then yes options to have it split okay along the cantilever beams successfully after which we proceed i will use the property of the slab so i can place a slab right there just like this so i can continue to have a slab in the beam regions okay this is pick point options you have to change it to beam region just like this and update and then you proceed to place the slab okay options and then you try to place a slab here you see it's been placed successfully and then in these provisions you have it placed and here as well it is placed okay 
so in the regions that we have created or the boundary provisions you just have to place the slabs just like this okay and also in this place all right i guess here is a stair room there will be no slabs i click on the okay option so the same thing we are supposed to do over here but uh, we proceed we have to save the project we are just trying to resolve that uh, warnings and error okay so i navigate to the tree i will get to these provisions and then i minimize this i minimize this i click in these provisions navigate to 3d all right so this is what we are not having you see over here we're supposed to also have a beam okay to brush these columns okay in this other uh, directions so to do that you can always navigate to the story tool right here and then you pick one of the beam from here right click and click on the properties and then you pick from this point take it all the way to these provisions and then you click on the close options to have that done successfully so you have something like this so this is well model than the one we had before okay this is well model than the one we had before successfully so with this i believe strongly that uh, we have resolved that issues over here we're supposed to have an edge beams as well in these provisions but we will proceed to run the fe floor analysis okay and then it will sorry fe foundation analysis and i believe strongly that it's going to pass design now okay so let's proceed building analysis all right and then uh, we have to save the project before we proceed to building analysis so i will click here to save the project i click on the building analysis come to analysis and start analysis for these provisions okay i really want to design any members i click on the building analysis so we just give it some time to carry out the analysis successfully before we go into the FE foundations analysis because if you did not carry out the static analysis uh, you cannot be able to uh, run the finite element analysis okay of the foundations all right so let's give it some few seconds for it to complete analysis see analysis is completed successfully you can see here all right so let us see what we have with this toy drift okay satisfies the limits in both directions you can see click on the okay options and then uh, i will close from here okay so having done this successfully we will proceed to the foundation analysis which i am going to click on that provisions and i go straight to floor mesh and analysis so this is going to run through just some seconds all right and then it will be completed let's see if we still have that uh, errors and warning click on the ok options and then we are waiting for the informations that will come up if the errors and warning information will actually come up again let us wait all right so you can see the message is foundation beam design effects are updated from the fe foundation analysis model results this is what we're supposed to have and not the warnings and error so once you have this you are rest assured that yes the the foundation analysis has been executed successfully look on the ok options and then you can see story zero have actually checked green okay meaning the analysis is done successfully i click on the ok options or close options over here fe foundation analysis has been checked green so you can now proceed to carry out the uh raft on beam uh design successfully as well as the uh the slab okay that is on the beam successfully and generate your uh design uh report and as well as detail drawing so now we have resolved that issues okay in the subsequent presentations i will explain detail how to carry out the design of our uh, uh, raft on beam foundation successfully here we are going to stop if you have any question drop it in the comment section check in the description of the video we have a group chat where you can ask question and also answer questions from other engineers in the group successfully stay connected we we'll see in the next presentations have a nice day and bye for now